Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let us get into your reading straight away and pull your Oracle card. Oh, okay, what do we have? Please, angels, spirits, guides for Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> manifesting dreams. My dreams are coming true. Wow. There's abundant energy in that visual. Do you see it? Um, it's like reaping the harvest. Okay. Well, that's a nice message to start with. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Aquarius for May 2021, please. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Card has fallen out. We have... Oh, interesting. Don't stop. I had this for Libra, interestingly enough. But there's definitely an energy of do not stop. Absolutely keep on going. Because you're going to reap the reward. Okay. Yeah, it's not unusual for the signs of the same element to have similar messages. It's not always completely the same. So let's uh, see what we get, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Message for Aquarius. I think, I think there was a star card, your card appearing. Okay. I think there was a star card um, appearing in the Libra one as well. So that the star card is your is your card. It's the card of Aquarius. So it might well be for some of you. This could be both sides of the same coin as well. It won't be for everybody. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so roughly works out as one card per week. Aquarius, though, divine timing and all that. People are at different life stages. However, the message remains the same. And we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. Remember, it doesn't resonate for everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aquarius, please, angels, spirits, guides, message for Aquarius, thank you. May 2021, can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. Seven of Cups. Ten of Swords appearing twice, but I like it with the Nine of Wands. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, very nice energy, Aquarius. And the King, oh wow, the King of Pentacles. Taurus for me is a reader, male or female, though, can be the energy of. And we have the Moon. So I'm gonna clarify a couple of these cards. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've got the King of Pentacles again. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's clarify this. Uh, let's clarify this moon. Yeah, we have a uh, judgment. And it's interesting, bottom of the deck, I've got the eight of wands there, Aquarius. So let's just leave those there. I looked at the bottom of the deck, so I'll put it down. So interestingly enough, we have manifesting dreams. It is a card of, of hopes, dreams, wishes, the seven of cups, focusing on new hopes, dreams, and wishes. 
And the, the Nine of Pentacles is generally an energy of um, hopes, dreams and wishes that are leading to greater abundance, uh, material security, material success. Um, it feels in this energy, Aquarius, There is definitely an energy with the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles here of, of self-worth, self-esteem. Uh, making choices and decisions, going for what you want now. That ties in with what you think you deserve. You know, but there's definitely an energy of focusing on hopes, dreams and wishes that are going to bring greater abundance, greater material security. Money, you know, more money to your door. Um, it feels for some of you, you want to make a hope, dream and wish come true here. Uh, so it, it definitely feels very beautiful between those two cards. Somebody who is working hard, focusing on, on bringing greater material security into their life. It definitely feels in this energy, that's what you're doing. There could be some choices or decisions um, open to you. Interestingly enough, I'm seeing all that cloud here as well, Aquarius. So for some of you, it's almost kind of like the way to abundance isn't always clear either. And this is about just trust your intuition, the Seven of Cups. It is a card of karmic choices, decisions, but the message is if you trust your intuition, you won't go wrong. I'm definitely feeling like some of you want to bring some material gain into your life here. I mean, you know, there could two ten of swords, there could have been some job loss or some deep hurt, deep wounds that you've experienced here, but there's definitely an energy that you're putting it behind you now. And you feel something is happening to allow you to put it behind you. But it's almost kind of like there's a lack of, of clarity, confusion in, in how to manifest hopes, dreams and wishes. It might well be for some of you, there's the promise of something hanging out there. You might hear news to do with an opportunity, but there's lack of clarity in terms of it happening, you know, first week. And you're just kind of... It, it feels... It feels like you're just hanging in the air, you know? Hmm. Whereas, certainly second week, there is a green light here. There is a green light happening. The opportunity that it definitely feels for some of you is linked to your hopes, dreams and wishes, but maybe there wasn't clarity here. There's definitely clarity coming. The Knight of Wands can bring in change, can bring in the opportunity, can bring in... Um, it can also be a green light energy. It's interesting. Something is going to happen here because the night is allowing you to put behind a difficult challenge and move on from it. Get back on the horse, charge ahead. Um, it feels like there's definitely, you're going for something. There is inspired action. You're getting direction here. It feels like there's some green light here that I'm getting. Second week of... Second week of May, and whatever this was, the Ten of Swords, Aquarius, it can be about betrayal, can be about deep hurt, deep wounds, um, loss, crisis, um, call it what you will, but you have an opportunity, whatever this Knight of Wands represents to you, where there's some green light, something is beginning to happen, an opportunity might present itself, or you understand how you need to take action, suddenly everything becomes clear, to put behind a difficult situation and bring change. This is a card of inspired action as well, a green light. So there's definitely an energy of something happening here between the first and second week where it feels all kind of airy. You know, the promise, but, you know, how do I actually make it happen? And then there's, it feels like there is change in the second week. It feels like some green light to go. And this is definitely an energy of don't stop because dreams are being manifested here. And then we have the work. So the Eight of Pentacles is a card of hard work. Um, can also be a card of skills development. But they're working hard towards bringing greater material gain into their life. This person. Uh, they're working hard towards a goal. 
the ten can be a goal. It can be uh, in it, and the ten of pentacles. My goodness, it represents material success, um, financial security, not just for you, but for your relationship, your family, your home. Um, Real hard work is bringing material gain into your life. Now, this can be an energy of being noticed, recognised uh, for what you do well. This is somebody who aligns internally with what they do well in their external environment. So you're doing what you do well, whatever you're focusing on here. Don't doubt it because there's definitely an energy of when you're focused, when you're in that zone of working and just getting that cosmic boost. I'm definitely getting that energy in terms of productivity. You are bringing material success to your door. Love this energy. Love this energy, Aquarius. The Ten of Pentacles is just such an abundant energy. When somebody aligns to what they do well, and it's almost kind of like, this is what you're meant to do. I mean, if you've if you've retrained or got further skills or experience um, in order to get a significant goal or in order to get a promotion or in order to get, um, you know, the job that you want, that kind of energy. Because some of you could have gone through some loss here. It definitely feels in this energy there is some green light to go. Um, when you work hard, you're being noticed, recognised for the work that you do. I love this energy. So it definitely feels for some of you, there's some recognition coming here. And it's to do with some kind of financial career goal. Because the Ten of Swords is at the end. And remember, the Ten of Swords is about, is a ten, it's a completion. But it feels in this situation it feels in this situation Aquarius that something the t you're almost kind of like towards the end of the month you're working hard definitely an energy working hard towards achieving a goal um, and it feels really promising you know the sun is rising in the distance pushing away the darkness the ten is this is as far as it goes there has been hurt, wounds, whatever this was for you, loss. Um, but the new day and new dawn is rising in the distance. It feels the ten is a completion. That is the end of what this is. So the two king of pentacles is, it might well be you're meeting a king of pentacles with two of them appearing. It feels like there is somebody who is in business, who is, who might be, uh, responsible for making you an offer who may well be instrumental in bringing security stability success um, into your life you know it feels for some of you in this situation you might be meeting somebody like this uh, the king of pentacles is an achiever he is a card of he is somebody who male or female energy who is a sign of success they understand how to make money. They understand how to bring success and stability and security to their life. They understand their own practical ability to really make it happen um, and manifest everything that they want in their practical, physical world. So the message here is towards the end of the month, it feels like something is, the pain is, is, is over or there is an opportunity soon that the pain will be over or the, this period of, of hurt will be over um, but it feels like there's a lack of clarity here so you might not have heard back you know there's an energy here there there's been some confusion there's the promise of something here at the beginning of the month then we have a green light energy of yes okay it's on I'm taking action I'm going for it do putting in the hard work, uh, getting noticed, bringing material gain into my life, certainly working towards a goal. And then it definitely feels in this instance, there is, it feels like you're not hearing the communication. Interestingly enough, this is the sun in Gemini. Um, yeah, it's, it's the sun in Gemini, which is, I mean, Gemini energy is the great communicator energy as well. So I'm definitely feeling in this energy, you haven't heard back on something. There's lack of clarity. However, Aquarius, don't fear. 
because something is going to happen uh, which will require you to act and act quickly. So there is definitely an energy, maybe May going into June, um, there's definitely this energy of you will be stepping into your light. You will be, you know, stepping out of that dark energy into the light. This is karmic energy, karmic rewards, hidden blessings with the moon as well. But it feels like there's a lack of clarity. I mean, you know, it, there's there's a call to action. Something is going to happen which will be a call to action because we have the eight of wands, which can be about conversations, progress, forward movement. So it feels that you might be, it definitely feels like there's progress here, Aquarius. There is hard work, there is motivation. And then for some of you, there may well be somebody who is instrumental in bringing success into your life or an offer. Um, there may, you might not just hear back from them straight away. But the message is don't stop. You are absolutely manifesting your dreams. And I did say at the beginning, reaping the harvest. And it feels for some of you, there is progress. This is a card of progress and swift change. Can be a distance energy as well or travel. Um, interestingly enough, I sometimes see this as online communication as well, at online interviews. But, you know, for some of you, it, it definitely feels that this is progress feedback, conversations. So I'm definitely getting this energy that you might not have quite the clarity, but it's coming. And it feels like it's coming quite quickly towards the end of the month, maybe possibly into the early June. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Message for Aquarius, thank you. Yeah, see, wisdom, I'm just saying, I'm just feeling you're going to get the answer, but it feels towards the end of the month, early the month after. So we have, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Yep, and we have healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. I definitely feel that there is an improvement in terms of uh, there's hard work here, somebody working very hard, but it's, it feels you're going to reap the harvest here, so don't stop. Just because you might not hear anything, the message is don't stop, because this is all to do with opportunity, progress, positive shifts, conversation. Um, it's definitely happening. It feels towards the end of the month. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe, Aquarius. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I will see you next time. Thank you.